For the track, we gon' take it to the top, and that's the truth. Truth hurts. <laughs> oh yeah, if you broke, but you're still pimping, drinking, smoking, then say, oh yeah, oh yeah. If you're falling by your bottles, then say, oh yeah, my man. If you're pimping your steps and your ass is fat, then say, oh yeah, my man. If you're willing to fight that fucking the night, then say, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Put your thongs up and party with me On the count of three Everybody claim where you're from One, two, three The bottom, that's where I'm from That's where I reside That's what I represent till I die Tuck your chains in, put your drinks down And your sets up and get wild for the night Pitbull ride strike smooth like a leg truck Mama, you got the next step Hey Ray, thanks for joining us on the final edition of The Final Edition We are looking at an Evo Labeled the final edition. It's got a plaque on the dash showing which number it is. So few of these out there. And at the present moment, this is the lowest mileage one that we could find. The condition of this car is spectacular. And in my opinion, I, and I can't predict the future, this, I feel, could be one of those collectibles uh, that we missed out on. We say, oh, man, I had a chance to buy that car. The Evo is legendary. And the fact that it's, it's come to the end of its run, uh, this model that they built today is uh, the very best example ever. From the Bilsteins that come on here to uh, the two-piece Brembo rotors to the Anki wheels with the dark finish and a couple great, you know, styling touches around the car. Even this, uh, even though this is on others, but this piece here where the mug of this car is so fabulous just for that giant intercooler. Look at the intercooler. I think they actually put an intercooler in and then built the car around that just to make sure this car got enough power. Over 300 horsepower and 300 foot-pounds of torque it definitely rolls down the road, and the four-wheel drive system is spectacular. So uh, it's got a couple modes in there. It's got gravel mode. It's got snow mode. It's got tarmac, which is really cool when you toggle through there. I'm thinking to myself, I've never driven a car on the gravel. I don't know, even know what that would be like. This is the way to find that out. But anyway, we'll take a minute. We'll look around the car. And again, we're back to the final edition. This is the last of the last. This is numbered. It's low mileage and uh, garage kept, garaged at work. And really, really a spectacular piece. So let's take a peek at it. All right, let's take a quick peek at the quality of Mitsubishi paint because, uh, believe it or not, this car with the trim for the final edition looks fantastic and the paint shines like a champ. Come on here and check that out. All right, so listen, I don't want to spend an enormous amount of time talking about the technical pieces of this. You can read that online if you choose to. But think about this for a second. Mitsubishi is known uh, from... Uh, the beginning of time for their turbocharger technology. This two liter right here making over 300 horsepower can easily make 400, right? Uh, the turbocharger technology that Mitsubishi has has been sold to many other manufacturers, whether they're cars, boats, trucks, or whatever, and it's trickled down into here. This is why the power delivery is so smooth. The transmission, although not a six speed, it's a five speed, is super heavy duty because they didn't have a six speed available for this kind of delivery power and with the all wheel drive system. So. Uh, this whole thing works really, really well. It's worked really well for a long time. And now I see why that, uh, that everybody loves them so much. So some of the modifications done in here uh, that can easily be returned back to stock if you want are the same ones that I would have done had I bought the car brand new. This has an upgraded exhaust system down here, uh, the plumbing here, upgraded uh, pop-off valve, fresh air intake, just a couple small things. You can see from the pictures there what's been done. Other than that, it's super stock and the the... Subtle upgrades that are there has made a really nice difference. Hey, this car may be uh, a world championship rally car, but it's also functional too. It has a trunk in here with room for tons of soft baggage. Uh, they moved the battery back here, which cleaned up the engine compartment and also moved, you know, depending on the size of the battery, up to 50 pounds uh, of weight back here. 
give us a little more traction. And check out these two giant cans coming out of the back of the there with the diffuser at the bottom. This is one great back end of a car. Anybody who likes cars, I mean anybody who likes cars just a little bit, right, will know right away uh, what an Evo looks from behind. And they'll know that it's not necessarily a regular one and that uh, they're going to pull up and you potentially could get in a little bit of horsepower, uh, what do we call it? aggressiveness, right? Aggressiveness, which I would never condone, of course, because I've never done that. But if I was to be challenged. Anyway, let's move to the interior of the car. And we're not going to talk about that anymore. All right, so come on in and join me where uh, all the action is, right? Okay, so if you've never owned one of these before, uh, the interior is, is actually very nice, especially this final edition where uh, they do a lot of the stitching in the seats, the shift knobs, steering wheel. Like, it's just a much nicer car inside. Just a small little 9,000 RPM tack and a 190 mile an hour speedometer. Not sure it'll do 190. I personally don't know that. Okay, I personally do not know that, but we'll discuss that at another time. Uh, the one nice thing I did like about the seat is the seat can come up and down uh, and moves around a lot, so you get super comfortable. The steering wheel was great, and the shifter, like everything was like right here, and that uh, really helps you most of the gears. Climate control. Killer sound system in here, even cool mats that have the Lancer Evo uh, final edition on there. And then uh, lastly, this plaque here on the console showing you which number this is of the uh, last run of these cars, making these cars collectible. And I think that was the whole idea behind them. They sold every one of them. And uh, I believe one of the, the ones, the first ones that came out sold on eBay for almost $50,000, which is a pretty good indication of the future of this car. So anyway, low mileage. Uh, one owner and well taken care of. This is definitely the way to buy a car. All right, so we close up the final edition of this Evo run, and we say to ourselves, you know, that is a great-looking car, but why is it a great-looking car? First off, big red Brembo sticking out of the side of the wheels there, and the Ankies, which are known to just be great race car-style wheels. All of the trim that comes on here, the extra horsepower, this is the last of the last. We're saying goodbye to this car. These are the classic collectible cars that many people missed out along the last 30 or 40 years and said, oh, I should have bought that last run of X. This potentially could be that car, man. It's low mileage. It's one owner. It's uh, a beautiful car, and not to mention the condition of it is fabulous. So anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this, figure out how to get it in your garage. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you could like it and share it with your friends. Also, I'd love to hear some comments about all the Evos uh, that maybe you know about, maybe you've ridden in over many of the years and the evolutions of these cars, right, as they moved up through the number rank. And uh, uh, hopefully there's a great video out there of some serious, serious high-speed driving. Not for me, though.